Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today I have a Sweet World Fixins um, haul to show you guys. This is the um, this is a restock where she allowed her ambassadors that she's been having for like ambassadors re reviewers basically um, for the last six months be able to create their own scent um, choice. And name it and everything, which is really, really cool of her to do. Um, I'll have the Sweet World Fixins website and the Facebook group linked below. Oh, I'll also include the Instagram because she does; she's pretty active on Instagram as well. The owner is Odyssey, and she's a very, very sweet person. She's got a really good company going. You know, she's she's come a really long way in in six months of starting this business, so it's pretty impressive. Um, but anyway, she allowed us to create a scent creation basically if you will um and my creation was I named it snooza palooza I don't I thought that was a cute name for like a sleepy time scent because I you guys know I like pink sugar I like lavender I like um those like calming nighttime scents so I didn't know if I wanted to do one with peppermint but I know some people don't like peppermint so um I ultimately went with pink sugar lavender and coconut milk which I thought was going to be soothing one of the blends I really like is lavender and coconut milk together. I think they just work really well. And for people who don't like pink sugar, I didn't want to just do pink sugar and lavender and, you know, something like that. So that's a pretty big, like, cellar type of scent anyway. Um, and I have not heard anyone use the name Snooza Palooza, so I wanted to use it and have her, not like it's really, like, super cool of a name, but wanted her to be able to use it first, be a vendor, because, you know, I'm never going to have my own company where I would use that name. So, anyway, I just thought that was a cute name. Uh, Googling it, I actually think it's a Dr. Seuss book, which I had no idea. I've never heard of it or read it. I just thought it sounded cute. So, anyway, Snooza Palooza was my scent. Um, I was hoping that they were all going to come in sugar scrubs. I guess I misunderstood, because... Um, some of the girls' scents became sugar scrubs, some became body sprays, some became wax, and some became, like, mini sets of, like, a sugar scrub, uh, body cream and a spray, and, um, what else? What else was there? Oh my gosh, my eye's bothering me. If you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know I have LASIK revision. It's not going well, and... I don't want my voice to get shaky and, like, talk about it, but no, it's not going well, so... Um, my, my eye is, I, I have a hard time seeing, so, right now, so, anyway, um, if I have a hard time reading something, just in the future, for any videos, understand why, <laughs> that is why, so, anyway, um, mine, my scent creation came in wax and came in body spray, I'm not a big body spray person, um, like body mist, body spray, only because, I just find myself, if you guys watch my Bath & Body Works videos, you know, I struggle to use up those fine fragrance mists. I prefer perfume over body mist, and I can't really wear perfume at work because I'm a dental hygienist, and you're not supposed to be, like, scented in case it's offensive to anybody. So, <laughs> I get to spray it on myself in the morning and feel good for a little bit on my way to work, and then by the time I get to work, it usually fades, you know, because I'm trying to use up my body mist. So, I have a ton, but I wanted to support the fact that she created a scent for me, which I think is super great. And obviously support her business too. So I did buy a couple things. Um, because my scent did not come in a scrub, there was another ambassador, Monica, and she came out with a scent that's similar. And I thought I would really like it. So I decided to get hers. But anyway, I did want to show you. I have not opened any of this stuff yet. So I'm going to smell it. Um, I think there's only like four things, maybe five, four or five things I purchased. Um, but I wanted to show you the presentation because I think it's super cute. So there is that. And of course, it has my invoice, and if you were just like you saw my address. <laughs> okay, so um, there's a little message on here, so let me just read it really quickly. I'm really sorry. Okay, sorry, I had to pause because there's a little note in here from her, and I wanted to read it. Um, hi, Odyssey. By the way, I want to say hi. Um, I hope you're doing well. And I hope baby bunny's doing doing well. She has a bunny that a pet bunny, sweet baby bunny that's was having a hard time and uh lots of medical expenses and so I hope your bunny's little bun bun's doing well. Um okay, it sounds like she 
yeah, I know. I honestly, I, I've been wanting to make a purchase, but then I have all this body care and I'm like fighting myself <laughs> because I like want to order all your stuff. And then I'm like, Oh my God, practice restraints. And like, it's just, I'm going to de-stash stuff so that I can buy more of your products. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like she sent a body silk, which is a thick lotion um, that she's been testing. So that'll be cool to see. All right, let me get these little guys out of the way. Uh-oh, something's wet. I feel it. Something leaked. Oh, no. Feels like an oil. Maybe just on these things. Maybe it was just these. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so let me see here what I purchased. Let's do the sugar scrub first. Oh, I'm sticky. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to grab a paper towel really quickly. Okay, I can't tell where the moisture was coming from, but I stupidly, I sprayed just like soap spray <laughs> I have on paper towel and wipe this off and I totally, this soap is strong apparently because I totally <laughs> smeared the packaging on this. Oh man. But I guess that's helpful in that soap will wash this off. I don't think it'll wash this off, but I really don't want to try and test it. But yeah, this black ink smeared. Okay, well, anyway, this is a sugar scrub in Daydream Days. This is Monica's scent, scent creation. Sorry for the, like, light coming from up there. Um, these scrubs are twelve fifty. I believe they used to be more. And she was able to work out a deal with, because she gets her sugar locally. All of her products are vegan, too. And she worked out a deal where she could get sugar at a better price. Filled to the brim. Awesome. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I don't really like blueberry, but this smells good. Um, oh shoot. You know what? Of course I don't have the scent description of this. This is like lavender and blueberry and something else. I just knew it had lavender. And so I wanted to try it. This is like a light, sweet lavender blueberry. If you like Enchanting Prince... From Vintage Chic Scents, it's kind of a scent like that. That's what it reminds me of. That's the only thing I can compare it to because it's kind of not a blend that's very commonly used by vendors. It's kind of like sugary sweet too, like almost candy-like. I like it. And I probably got, yeah, I did. I got black ink on myself. Why? I, I shouldn't have put that soap on there. Shoot, I need to like let this dry. I bet you it's just going to rub off when I go in the shower anyway, but I think that's where the moisture was coming from, but I can't really tell. So I did get that sugar scrub. If you're someone who cares about like keeping your labeling on your packaging, that might, you might not like that. I noticed that that happens even with Bath and Body Works products, so I just really don't care. I mean, it's helpful in the end, but I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. Okay. I wanted to order my, um, I wanted to order my scent creation and the scent shot, but by the time I went to go check out, it was all sold out. So I got Spa Oasis, which I believe is cucumber mint, and that's a scent that I generally like. So, um, she's, you know, started doing wax now. I love these scent shot containers. They are my favorites. I, I feel like they're really good quality, and, um, yes, I like them. Um, so I'm going to this out. Now it does look like scent oil went to the bottom. That doesn't matter to me because I'm going to cut it this way and use half and half. This is like a fresh, very natural. It kind of has a fresh cut grass scent to it too. Um, it's got to be that cucumber. It's like very, very realistic cucumber light on any mint that's in it. It's a very fresh, clean scent. I really like this because it smells really authentic. That might be really good or fun to blend with something. I might try and cut that in three. Melt one on its own and then blend two with like something else that'll be fun to blend with. That scent shot is two dollars. Two dollar scent shot. Pretty standard. Okay, here we go. This this is this did not leak. This was not the culprit. 
This is um, the Snoozapalooza Body Splash, if it would focus. Thank you. And it looks like it's pretty clear, so it's not going to have any tint to it. Let's smell this bad boy. This is kind of hard on my eyes. Um, I've noticed that anything that smells is a little difficult on my eyes. I'm actually going to put this stuff over here. Oh. Okay, this is like a summery coconut. This is like, this kind of, I don't know if this smells like, um, <laughs> I don't know if this smells like pink sugar, lavender, or coconut milk. This is not what I was going for, but it actually smells pretty good. I could totally use this this summer. Um, I actually think this will be pretty easy to use if I want to spray it on myself in a, for this summer. This is like a toasted coconut scent. I'm trying to smell any of the other notes, I just don't. It smells like toasted coconut. I actually like it. It doesn't smell like what I was expecting at all, to be honest. So, um, like for that, like, oh, disappointing, you know, but it smells pretty good for what it is. It doesn't have like a perfumey musk scent to it. It's a nice... What's in coconut scent? Was, that body splash is four fifty. Pretty appropriate, I think, for how long that thing's gonna last. Okay, what do we have here? I probably should have opened like the new things that she was sending. This has got to be the thing that was leaking because I can't imagine it would be anything else. This is a body wash in the scent Laventini. Now she sent a sample product for us to try in the scent Laventini and I had no idea I was going to really like it. I really like that scent. It's unique. I don't know. This doesn't have anything leaking from it either. I don't know what it was. No, this is not leaking either. It's going to be a mystery what it was. So this is the um, body wash. So you can tell the consistency of it. It's, a, it's not completely watery. It's a little bit thicker like a shower gel would be. Um, probably not as thick as a shower gel. A little less than a shower gel. And this is Laventini. I love this scent. Now, um, I know that this this is um, kind of tricky to like lock and unlock. I mean, well, it's not tricky once you know how to do it. You actually turn this middle part, part in my nails. I was picking at my cuticles while watching YouTube videos. Okay. Oh my gosh. Tricky, tricky. So you have to actually turn this back open part around to the front so that the pump will go down. Right now it's locked. Um, I don't think I can do it like this far away from me, like on camera. I need to like have it close to me. But I think I'll just open it to smell it. Yeah, that smells like Laventini. Oh, it's a nice scent. It's like fresh, it's clean, it's like somewhat aquatic. Um, it smells high-end. I really like this scent. It's different. It's nothing that I've smelled in wax or body care before. I don't know if it's one scent oil that she found or she mixes it herself. I'm not sure, but I really like it. Um, so there's that. And then this last thing looks like it is... Free samples with an order and a product to try. Oh my god, these are so cute. Okay, wax sample. And this is in, hang on a second, I feel like I need like readers right now. Sweet World Fixins wax sample in Twisted Hawaiian. Let's smell that. Her wax is really strong, by the way. Oh, that smells good. I think this was one of this girl's scent creations. This smells really yummy. It kind of smells like happy hour, but with something else. Happy hour is like her mixed berries and lime scent. It smells just bomb. I sound so nerdy saying bomb, but it really does smell that way. Okay, and then this is the foaming sugar scrub sample in happy hour. That's probably like the, um, like one of the free samples that she would send out. I love this scent. I think it's cute that she rolls it in a ball. Such a good scent. 
Oh my God. If you try one scent, make it be happy hour. Okay, these are what I was talking about that are so cute. How cute are these little containers? I've never seen these before and they are the cutest thing ever. I mean, I'm sure that like maybe a cosmetics company like Sephora or something does little samples like this. Actually, the ones from Sephora are not this cute. They're like cheap plastic. This, and even the little stickers are so cute. So this says, read it with me guys, because um, my brain is slow. Sweet World Fixins Body Silk Sample and Pistachio Dreams. Yeah. I, uh, I like her, her pistachio dreams. It's heavy on the cherry, but, um, it, it's grown on me, and I like it. It's not one that I would purchase, but I actually like it. And then the same thing, this is, um, this is a body butter sample in Daydream Days. Yeah, that's that, like, those are cute little samples. This is stronger than the scrub. Blueberry lavender blend. I know there's more to it. Monica, I'm so sorry I'm like botching your blend. But the strongest two notes are like blueberry and lavender together. And I like it. So I look forward to trying that. So that is everything. I know I'm at a weird angle here with my video, but... um. So again, the scrub was twelve fifty, and the body mist is four fifty. Oh, I don't even think I told you how much this was. The body wash is six fifty, and then the um, wax is two dollars each. And then I got some little samples. Very cute that she included a wax sample and a scrub sample, and then these to try and give her my feedback. So um, I'm actually going to be done as a reviewer for Sweet World Fixins. This is garbage. I don't know why I put that there. Um, because it was only for six months, so it's been, it's been a lot of fun to be able to help sample, give her a review. Um, I've tried to be as critical as I can with my reviews because, you know, I'm, well, first of all, I'm an honest person, so I'm not going to just, I just don't feel like you move forward if you constantly tell someone they're always, you know, like everything is always perfect. Um try to be like a critical thinker you know what I mean like wh how we learn in school to be a critical thinker not like critical like I cut you down but like a critical thinker I want to put myself in a position of someone who's going to be very judgmental and like what would they not like about this what would they um, want to see better you know to try and improve she doesn't have to take my advice but that's just how I feel um, and I try and do that now I'll I love her products. I think she's got a great thing going. I'm really excited to see where she's going to go. Even in the next six months, I think it's going to be pretty wild. Um, so thank you for the samples, Odyssey. Um, and I'm really happy with my order. Um, even though Snooza Palooza ended up smelling like coconut, that's not your problem. You know, <laughs> you if you blended it together, that's that's what you got. It's just a toasty coconut. It's actually perfect for summer. So that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.